Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and today I have a two-in-one treat for you. Now what we're going to do today is actually maybe even three different things. I'm first going to show you what is inside this beautiful Your Creative Studio box that I received. Then we are going to create a so-called master board. Uh, and then the third thing is I'm going to make a little project with that master board. And I don't know yet what project we are going to make, but we will figure that out together. Now, because I'm going to do so many things in one video, I am going through the Your Creative Studio box a little bit faster. We will show, still show you everything inside, but just um, faster. I have not looked at everything, but I've looked at a fair share and I think you guys are going to love this box as much as I do. Before I do get into it, I just quickly want to say that I got this box from Your Creative Studio, in case you don't know them. Uh, I will link everything in the description box down below. I got this box for free because I make these videos, but all opinions are my own. She doesn't pay me to say anything or do anything or promote anything. I am always fair, always honest, and if I'm excited about something, it's because I am excited about something and not because uh, people... Uh, tell me to be or something mm. also today's beverage it was sent to me by one of you in my PR books it's a chai mixture it looks quite weird already finished half of it it's nice and sweet a good pick me up let's get into this box so first thing in this box are two wooden stamps the following two designs a deer with some snowflakes and stuff and then a is this called a carousel? I think it's called a carousel, right? I wouldn't normally have picked these two, although I am obsessed with um, anything stamps. <laughs> I wouldn't have normally picked these, but I think they will be quite nice as a background in our projects for today. Also included, that's not it. Also included are your Creative Studio's own design stamps. So. I've been getting these boxes a little bit longer and every time there's new things that are like designed specifically for that box. I think it's really, really cool. And this time we have some beautiful cling stamps. Let me see. This is the first one I unpacked. It's an owl. I quite like that owl. And uh, little snowflakes. Little snowflakes. So these are cling stamps. I don't know exactly what people are normally do with them, but I just use them similar to same as clear stamps. So I just put them on a stamping block and use them like that. I filmed this once. I said that it made me really, really happy that all of these designs are wrapped in paper bags. I'm trying to be more sustainable and it makes me super duper happy when shops are doing that too. And this is the next design. It's an owl with a hat, which is a little bit random, but quite funny. And then also again, two different snowflakes. If I were to use all of the snowflakes, I would probably just put them all on one big stamping block and then use them all together. But they're quite, quite fun. Like I said, I already looked at these because I already filmed all of this once. It's a beautiful mountain scenery with like pine trees and a mountain <laughs> and then again to uh, again different little snowflakes so it's six different snowflakes designs in varying sizes quite like that okay let's just do this one this was a little bit random when I filmed it before um, I wasn't sure what it was I thought it was either a charm or a bookmark but it is actually a bookmark it's quite heavy I like that and when we were reading the card Where's the card? The card, there it is. It actually says it's glow in the dark. So I turned off the light and it didn't show anything, but I don't know, my camera does not pick up on this. I am showing it closer. I'm holding it further away. Uh, but in real life, you can actually see that it's belly light up, lights up and the eyes, which is kind of creepy, but also kind of fun. Then the next item in here is also really, really exciting. Of course, everything was wrapped nicely, but I had to tear it open because look at that sticker. This is a your creative, your creative Studios own design washi type. I keep saying own design. I don't know if she designs them herself, but I think it's pretty cool that it's like original to this box. And this is a washi type of an owl in flight. 
the owl is like flying. This is a bit dark for my taste. I probably won't use that too often, but I know a lot of people who will quite like that. Then this is the very first Your Creative Studio notebook. I am making all of this up myself, <laughs> but this notebook says number one. So I'm guessing that it is the first one. I said before that I loved that everything was wrapped in plastic except for this notebook. So I think it would have also survived without the plastic, but I get that it's a common choice to make. And this is a notebook with three different designs. Owl, house, I quite like that house. And then this one, which already looks a little bit like a master board with like paper collage. And then an owl down here. And there's a third one somewhere. There, an owl and then a mountain and some snowflakes at the top. Quite nice. Okay, and then this was, um, I saw this and I immediately fell in love. I love labels. But it's wrapped in plastic and that is sad. But look, it's a little, look how many pages are on here as well. And this is the, no, the page design. It has a little botanical thing. I absolutely adore it. Love that. This will come in so handy. Um, this is something I totally would have picked myself. Then this is another thing that makes me so incredibly happy. I am obsessed with labels and I quite like the color blue. Oh, hey, there's some stickers in here. It doesn't say that it has stickers in here, but there are some random stickers in here. These are dot stickers. I use dots quite a lot. Then we have some of these washi stickers. I'm just real quickly going to show you. And next, next to. So we have two more. First of all is this. I don't know what this is. Mm. Oh, these are all little papers actually. So these will come in handy for, again, the master board. Uh, maybe a little bit less bright. These, these. nice and then this is the last item and i discovered quite late last time that these are not regular papers these are actually sticker sheets like this whole thing is a sticker sheet now this all seems to be winter themed which may be a little bit late for some people because um with me it arrives in january for some people it might arrive in february which is quite close to spring but then again i don't really mind here it says, let it snow. This would have made a little bit more sense in like November, December, but I, I guess that's for me, right? Because I'm in Europe, but for many other countries, this will probably make a lot of sense. Snow, 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 snow. All sorts of snowy designs, quite like that actually. I think we will use some of these for the master board. I'm just, oh, where did you come from? I'm just going to pop everything back into this little box so that we have easy access and then let's get started on the master board. Okay, time for a voiceover, Vivian. Now, I have to tell you that I went to therapy today. That is good, a good thing for sure, but that always means that I'm a little bit scatterbrained. So if I make any mistakes, don't worry. <laughs> um, it's just um, a fuzzy brain. I also realized that I made a mistake in the video where I said something about the 
I liked stuff being packaged in plastic and obviously I meant paper because I, I dislike plastic so I wanted to clarify that and then one last thing I want to clarify is that I think actually a, a sticker sheet is missing from my box because when I saw other people receive their boxes on Instagram they had a, an owl sticker sheet I am not I'm not gonna message her or I'm not like I have enough stickers but I did want to let you know that if you receive the box I'm pretty sure there is a sticker sheet in there as well they just seem to have missed that in mine now when I filmed this video I also explained to you what a master board is but then this video got quite long and I wanted to do this in voiceover instead so we're already crafting and I'm now going to explain to you what I'm actually doing now a master board is basically one large collage that you use for multiple smaller projects this is not something new I've uh, I think this has been around for as long as like scrapbooking and journaling has been around but I didn't really ever do this so I thought this would definitely be a good opportunity to give that a try it's super duper simple I think the hardest part is cutting it up <laughs> but the start is really easy so what you do you probably already see me do it is you use multiple papers preferably scraps when I was working on this this is my first attempt when I was working on this I realized later that it probably would have looked nicer or it would have been easier if I had used multiple smaller scraps instead of like two large papers and then some bits and pieces but you know we live and we learn so this is a great way to use up your paper scraps it could be vintage paper like what i'm using it could be new it could be anything you like uh, and anything you have laying around i suggest starting with a light cardstock or a thicker piece of paper as base simply because you are using quite a lot of glue you can also see that my collage is curling up a little bit at the edges simply because there's so much liquid in all of these glues but i um, after it dried i left it underneath that heavy glass cutting mat and it flattened quite nicely so there's not a whole lot of explaining i can do i uh, simply stick your paper scraps onto paper don't think about it too much i think that is the biggest challenge for me i wanted to combine um, the basic background papers with some more elements that kind of stand out sorry for my head i never learn do i so i also used some of that craft paper wrapping of the box um, so she has this gorgeous tissue paper a brown tissue paper that had the air balloon and the book and the botanical element and the feather on it I um, I kind of tore some of those off and I wanted to use them I also uh, picked some of the owls that were in the papers of course and then some labels the one that I stuck down just now is from my own collection and the other ones are from the your creative studio box so I'm just basically intuitively sticking a lot of things down and I think that for me is so good because I rarely do anything by intuition I overthink everything and I think this was a good practice so you just stick down whatever you can find we're also going to add stamps but if you know feel free to use paper only if you like you could also leave this as kind of blank as possible so i could have also go, gone <laughs> gone i could have also gone with just paper scraps and then once you've cut them up you can use more embellishments or stickers or something like that there's a lot of possibilities like I said, you know, like I said, I am not an expert yet. I'm I'm never going to be an expert, but um, I am kind of excited to to try out more things. And then, of course, I'm using some of the cling stamps uh, to add a pop of blue. The inks, I forgot what the inks are called. I'll try to find them and link them for you. They're quite bright, like quite pigmented, quite nice to use um so that is what you do first make that big collage again anything goes uh the only thing is i used of course some of quite visible elements such as the images and the tags and then when i wanted to start cutting this up into smaller 
project, it got quite difficult for me because I did not want to uh, cut something right in the middle of an image. And I think it's definitely easier to use if you uh, <laughs> if you uh, don't have those defined images. I hope that makes sense. You will see when we start cutting this up, which is now, what I mean. So if I could give you one tip, it's definitely uh, don't use this many images or do. Um, this is an exciting announcement, a kind of announcement. This is my new desk. I'm so happy. I just want to show you a little bit. It's still messy. It's still empty. I cannot actually use my craft room right now because the top layer of the paint is so strong and the scent, like it still smells like paint, even though it's been like five days already. The, the paint is not 100% dry yet, so I cannot sit in my craft room. I have for this project, of course, as you can see, I've sat there for like an hour or something, but then I quickly notice that um, I get a headache and a little bit of trouble breathing because of the paint. But I really wanted to finish this, so I just decided to sit there for an hour <laughs> and, uh, you know, sorry for the head again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, don't, I forgot what I was saying, but um, on the note of breathing, this is your gentle reminder to take a deep breath. You know, since last video, I want to do that more often. Whew, I could definitely use that reminder. Take a deep breath in. And when you breathe out, remember to let go of all of the tension. Uh, when you have your shoulders tensed, gently release them and yeah what we've been doing in the background is i've just sort of traced certain uh i'm trying to remember to breathe now too i've traced certain dyes that i have of course you could use scissors um you don't need dyes but i just thought it would be nice because some of them have a border or uh, something pretty so what i'm doing is i first i traced the dyes so that i would know sort of what I was going to place where and then I cut them out and I'm going to roll them through my die cutting machine. I am not doing that on camera, I have a nice spot off camera now so I did that and now um, this is the end result. So as you can see I rolled quite a bit of paper through sort of stamp die cuts so they turn into cute little stamps. And then we have some tags and we have some forains or just squares, rectangles, stuff like that. And this is what I meant. Of course, I was hoping to get the entire air balloon on one image, but that's just impossible. So I think it would have been easier if I would have just gone with little paper scraps. Although some of them did turn out quite nicely. See, these will have partial elements which I think looks quite nice and then some of these which I'll show you now such as the botanical and this owl they're all I managed to die cut around them so it's a combination of both which one um, which one you choose to do is of course up to you and let me know which one do you prefer do you prefer the little ones with all sorts of elements or do you prefer this one these types where you can still see the image quite clearly and then this one i did not die cut i uh, traced a tag basically twice because i wanted to turn that into a little booklet a tag shaped booklet I've seen this on Instagram, I had been dying to try that out, not necessarily in combination with the master board, but I had seen those tag booklets before and I thought this would probably be a good opportunity to do. So, so you have one uh, perfect placement of the label on the front and then the back is also still decorated. I keep trimming it off because of course I did not die cut the tags. I lightly traced them and I realize now that I probably should have traced it a little bit neater because <laughs> it's not the both of the tags are not equal so I keep adjusting that but in the end it works out fine and then after the collaging and the cutting the third step is to embellish more of course you could leave it like this that would be totally fine but I'm going to add some extra elements if you want, this is also where you could add the uh, embellishments or 
the images or the stamps just so that you would know they were placed perfectly but I'm just kind of going with the flow. <laughs> I had normally when I do something big like this I like to try it out first but this is literally my first time doing it which is quite a risk but you know that's how I like to do my videos so you also get to see the mistakes and um, the learning process. So I'm also decorating the inside a little bit. I don't want to decorate it too much because the paper is already quite thick. Uh, but I used one of those other sticker papers that you saw in the beginning for the left side. And then I'm using one of the little papers for the right side. Of course, that's not the same size as the, ta the tag. So I'm just covering up the bottom with some washi. But we're not going to see that anyway because um, I'm going to turn that into a little pocket. A little pocket to stick some goodies in but like I said you can use this for so much you can use the collages or the cutout images for journaling you could even leave the whole page intact and then pair pair <laughs> pair pair a tease <laughs> tear a piece off when you need it uh, I think the possibilities are endless if you need more inspiration like I did you can go down that YouTube rabbit hole um, YouTube I meant Instagram probably YouTube too I just looked on Instagram for inspiration there's a ton of people doing fun collages like this and I am constantly changing because the new desk is quite shiny so I was afraid that it would be too bright the light reflecting but I don't know I think it's pretty okay let me know your thoughts, of course. So I've just um, torn a piece of craft paper out of some packaging from a sustainable clothing brand. What's it called again? Two thirds. They ship their clothing in these pretty craft paper bags. So of course I'm reusing them, not sponsored. Um, so I've torn a piece off to use as a pocket. I never learn, I never learn the head oh but now the head in the frame also makes more sense because my camera is above my head more like normally it's more towards the window and now it's more towards me i need to figure that out with my old desk i would have just pulled the table away from the window more but my dad made a new desk which is actually um attached to the wall so i can't do that so hmm, need to figure that out okay what we're doing is of course I have um, it's a tag so I wanted to attach a little eyelet to it which I'm absolutely in love with uh, this one is from we are memory keepers I decided to go for a beautiful blue one and I set that with the crocodile my new favorite tool uh, it's going a little bit fast but I figured I could slow it down again but you can still see the the eyelet in other frames in other shots as well so I'm just gonna leave it like that um, so I added an eyelet where we will also be adding some string. I could have added two eyelets, of course, to the back tag as well, but then I thought they would just bulk up and that would probably not be pretty. So I just decided to do some doodling around that instead. I'm using the pen to doodle. I still cannot pronounce the word doodle without it sounding like doo-doo. <laughs> doodle all around the project to um, fill it up a little bit more. I did, that was something I did struggle with, like the, the, the collaging of course already makes it quite busy and then do you decorate a lot or not? It's a challenge. I'm sorry, I'm going to adjust the uh, tripod angle. Hmm, I don't know how yet, but we will figure it out. And then I also stuck down a, a wax seal, a tiny wax seal that I made a couple weeks ago. I have this mini wax seal stamp I don't know the measurements it's really cute it's a little leaf and I thought the blue would go quite nicely so that's on there as well there's another example uh, next to the scissors as you can see because of course I had to make multiple and then we are going to add some more goodies of course because this is already quite bulky I cannot add like fat things to it but a washi tape sample always fits and I will, of course, also include some of the things we've made as well as some of the things we've received. So some stickers will probably do. I have not sent this out yet. I literally filmed this yesterday, uh, but I'm sure I will find a good receiver <laughs> was what, what I was going to say for this and all the other projects as soon as my craft room can be used again. 
So if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my Instagram, YouTube and Patreon if you haven't already. In the month of January, we've already had eight new people join Patreon, which is super duper exciting. And I hope to welcome a lot more of you. So thank you also to the patrons, of course, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a lovely weekend, uh, stay crafty and remember to breathe. <laughs> Bye.